guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my, um, you know, autumn journal for 2021. So this is how it's looking so far. And yeah, it's the same day, obviously. So this is not quite stuck down because I only stuck this down at the end of the video. So I'm just going to hold that in place for a second. Um, and yeah, we've come along really to make some ephemera pieces because so far I've just kind of stitched in the two signatures and we haven't actually done kind of any ephemera or anything like that for it. So let's pop that out the way. Oops. Yep, let's pop that out the way and let's bring back in the gorgeous kind of um, collage page that we did. So I'm thinking let's just cut this section off because obviously this is making it kind of hard to handle. So there we go, right. And then we've got this complete piece and we have got this one now i've got here some vintage invoices so these are some you know some actual vintage invoices and i thought let's just make some pockets combining some of the vintage kind of items with the kit so for instance let's take oh and it probably really doesn't matter does it but oh let's just take this this one no let's take let's take this one oh Oh, this one. Right, let's take one of these anyway. Um, and yeah, what I'm thinking is we could just make kind of a nice pocket using obviously this as the top part of the pocket and then some of this bottom part, you know, that was the um, book page, you know, collar sheet, we could use as the bottom of the pocket. So I'm just going to pull this off because, yeah, I love the way they did this, um, you know, in days gone by. They kind of have these little bits that are just attached at the bottom. They're so cute, aren't they? I have torn it, but, you know, never mind. Um, right, so, yeah, vintage invoice. So, I mean, obviously, I probably want to um, reinforce it because it's not particularly thick, obviously, at the moment. So, if I just kind of mark roughly the sort of height that I want it to be, like that... And then what I'll do is go in and trim it down because obviously at the moment it's quite wide. Um, so I'm just going to trim it down probably on either side. So a little bit here and then a little bit off of the other side as well. Oops. Okay like that. I might just take a little tiny bit off the top as well. Okay. And then I'm going to reinforce this um, just, I think, on some book page. Um, or do I want to use anything else? Again, I'm just scouring on my desk, seeing what I've actually got laying about. So what have I got laying about? I've got this book page. So yeah, perhaps I'll stick it onto onto this book page. So let's just tear this piece off. Okay. Right, so let's just go around here. Yeah, so I hope that everybody's having a good day. Hopefully you're doing some crafting, having a nice time. And I've said this before recently, but oh my goodness, can you believe we're talking about autumn already? I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy. The fastest year. I mean, I said that last year, but this year's been, you know, maybe even faster still. Honestly, I mean, weird or what? Right, let's just glue that down like that. And again, just grab my glue spreader. Just spread that glue out. Now, what's happened to my wipe now? Because, yeah, I'm obviously filming this the same day. And, um, yep, you would have thought that I would have grabbed, grabbed my wipe, wouldn't you? But... Of course, that would have been far too organised, wouldn't it? The annoying thing is... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I did grab a wipe. Before I actually started the first video, I grabbed a dry wipe. And lo and behold, I couldn't then find it for the whole of the video. But yeah, it's here now. It's here now, so I can just use it now. Right, okay. And then I'm just going to trim this down now across here. Okay. And then we're going to just use some of this, like a little portion of this, to form the pocket at the bottom. So I'm just going to cut that down here. 
And then what I will do is I will reinforce this because just here is just plain book page. So, I mean, of course, it's not particularly thick or strong. So I'm just going to just glue this bit down a bit. Okay, and then we'll glue this one on as well. Just so it's got a bit of extra thickness, you know, so it's more robust because, you know, you don't want your pieces falling apart, do you? So, um, you know, it's kind of important to get them strong and sturdy. Well, <laughs> I mean, I say strong and sturdy because, you know, I'm very, very clumsy and I'm kind of likely to tear things if they're not quite strong. But yeah, I mean, I see other people use copy paper and it looks amazing. I wish that I was not quite so clumsy and I too could use um, copy paper because, you know, I do really, really love the look of that. But yeah, not a chance, not a chance because I would be tearing things left, right and centre. Right, so we've got this one. I mean, it is quite a big pocket, but I mean, obviously we would kind of dictated to by the size of the invoice. So, you know, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is take this to the sewing machine and just stitch all around and stitch this bottom section on so that that's the, that's the pocket piece. Now, I'm just wondering, because we've obviously been using um, some lace and things like that on the journal already. Let me just have a look to the side of me. Oops. Thinking. Now, I might prefer a thumb hole in, in here, I think. So let's do a thumb hole. Okay. Again, just kind of eyeballing roughly, roughly the middle. Hope, hope for the best. Okay, not too, too bad. So yeah, that's one pocket and I will just stitch that on the sewing machine. So let's put that to one side. Okay, right. What else have we got? So obviously we've got the rest of the, you know, uh, snippety type roll. So I'm thinking, ooh, what am I thinking? Just let me have a bit of a scour on my desk and see what bits that I've got laying about here. So, well, I mean, again, we've got this um, invoice piece. Now, I wonder... I wonder if we could just, if I just tear this, I just need to go in with my scissors just for the stitch. Thinking, could we make this a little kind of cluster piece on here. I don't probably want to use that because that's a particularly nice invoice. I quite like the um, blue actually. It's quite nice, isn't it? We could go down like that. Uh, let's just tear this down a bit. So oops, again, it just had a bit of stitch in there. And another bit there. Just tear around there, okay. It's always a bit tricky tearing through the stitched pieces, isn't it? But that's quite nice on there, isn't it? And yeah, I'm thinking kind of, oh, or maybe on this one. Yeah, maybe this one. So again, let's just cut this down straight across there and again let's reinforce this because you know it's not the strongest obviously because it's just on that book page so uh not book page sorry it's just the invoice you know the invoice piece now you can see a bit of text through there I don't mind that um, but I guess it's just something to be a little bit aware of because I mean some of these um you know vintage pieces they are kind of printed on like I don't know really what, what type of paper I would call it. I mean, I once did see Tracy Fox do a video and she talked about, um, she bought some onion, onion skin paper and it looked to me, you know, obviously I was only watching the video so I, I wasn't kind of there in the flesh, flesh or anything. So I could be completely wrong, but it looked to me very much similar to the vintage type paper that they print a lot of these invoices and the paperwork and things on. So, um, yeah, kind of thinking maybe that's what it's printed on. But, you know, the only thing to be aware of is it just makes it slightly 
slightly see-through sometimes, but you know, that's fine, I don't really mind. Okay, so I can put this here, like that, and then we can put something on here. So again, what I'm going to do is stitch around the edge of this. So I might not stick the cluster piece on until we do that. So that's that one out of the way. Right, let's have a look and see. I keep pulling this one back in. Now what am I thinking? Um, Hmm. Let's just have a look. Do you know, I'm wondering if we could do a kind of pocket. You know, on on something else from the kit. So, for instance, here, whether we could stitch that around and have that as a pocket. Maybe not that particular piece, because that's not really working, but let's just have a look at some of our papers. Well, I've got this, which obviously, you know, this is like an offcut, so it's always good to use, use the offcuts, isn't it? So yeah, I'm thinking kind of maybe a sideways on pocket. And to be honest, that's probably all that that would actually need, really. So again, what I'm going to do, cut this down, and then again, I'm just going to reinforce it so as it's thicker and, you know, stronger. So again, just take that around there. I mean, especially when they're these vintage pieces, you know, they really are quite flimsy. So, oops, right, I need to go this end. Um, they really are quite flimsy. So, you know, definitely for me, reinforcing, especially the vintage things, that's kind of like essential. Otherwise, I'm definitely, definitely going to do it. Okay. Like that. Then we'll just cut that down. Like that. Put it across here. Like that. And then just mop that glue up. So I'm thinking, trying to pick, oh, pick the nicest bit. That's quite nice, isn't it? Or I do equally like this side. Mm. Okay, so let's go with this. So I probably really can't have too much showing actually. So probably like there. And again, all I'm going to do is just stitch that on the sewing machine. Just literally like around there. And then it will be just a little side, you know, side top, side tuck pocket. So yeah, let's just cut that one down. Okay, so that's another one. So, I mean, this kit's looking really pretty, isn't it? With the vintage, you know, pieces. And these are genuine, you know, vintage pieces. They're not sort of a printable or anything. They're they're actual genuine vintage pieces. So yeah, they just look really, really pretty. Now, thinking what can I do with this, you know, which is now effectively a scrap. Um, I mean, I could just make a belly band. So yeah, let's cut that down a bit straighter. Okay, and along this side as well. Okay. Then could we have some of the invoice? Oh, it's such a shame. I don't want to tear this one because it's beautiful, isn't it? I could have like a portion of this, but I was wanting to have something kind of going right down the middle which obviously, you know, that's not going to be long enough to go right down the middle. So that would be a bit of a shame. Um, hmm. I was really trying to kind of mix in vintage with, with kit here. So I'm just having a quick rummage to see whether I've got anything else vintage like left over from another project or anything that I could use because, um, yeah, really kind of was, you know, my mission was 
mix the vintage with the kit. So, let's just see. Oops, what's this? What's this little label? That's quite cool. That was just floating on my desk. I'm just going to keep that to one side. Right, okay, let's bring in... I've got some sheet music here. Okay. So, yeah, I think this, this would be quite nice. So, just take that down there. Okay, and we'll just tear this down here. Like that. So, you know, it's not vintage document, but it's vintage um, sheet music. So we've still got, you know, we've still kept the vintage theme going on. Okay. So, yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Now, do I want it in the middle or do I want it to the side? I mean, like I say, this was just like floating around on the desk, this piece. Um, but I thought, oh, it's quite nice, actually. It looks quite, quite good. Uh, right, I've got a couple of journal cards here that have just you know, found their way over there. Right, let's have a look. Oh, I did have some fussy cuts as well. What have I done with those? Okay, right, yes. I thought so. I had fussy cut some pieces out ready for this. So, um, I mean, we do a bit lose that that's sheet music at all, don't we? But but it is quite nice on there, so you know it doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. Um, oops, got a smaller one here. Could have something. Oops, something like that. That's quite cute, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that as a belly band. So let's just quickly glue the sheet music down. So obviously this being my vintage element. Okay. Just, oops, go for that here. Like that. And then the piece of fabric, just glue that down. Okay. Oops. Like that. Okay. Yep. Like how that looks. And chop that down there. Oops. Okay. And then. Yeah, this I'm thinking looks very cute here, maybe, maybe there. Um, and I did bring along my wax seal kit actually, because I'm thinking this one would look pretty cute with a wax seal, but I should probably stitch around the edge of this before I do that. So let's put that to one side and try and remember, try and remember that I thought I would do a wax seal. I want to see what's the likelihood of me remembering that. It's it's unlikely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> unlikely. Okay, right. We have this piece left. So let's just see. I've got some more vintage sheet music here. So I'm kind of thinking, shall we just make an envelope and just put some of this on the envelope? So let me decide what to back the envelope onto. Um having a look to see if I have any suitable scraps at the moment. Uh, oh, I've got, I've got some of that internal envelope, actually. I'm loving using this envelope at the moment. Um, I know I have talked about it in a recent video, but I don't think the video's gone up yet. But yeah, and now I've used it loads of times. So I've said loads of times. Oh, I know I've talked about it in another video. So I do apologise. I'm a bit like a scratched record. You're just going to keep hearing me say that. So yeah, many apologies for that. 
Right, I'm thinking kind of glue it on here. So let's just go around the around the edges. So again, I'm just reinforcing this because, you know, I mean, to be perfectly honest, this would be okay as a little envelope or, you know, or, or a foldy piece if I wasn't sticking stuff on it or if I wasn't sticking anything heavy on it. The reason I'm reinforcing it is because if I want to use up anything from the collage masterboard, then obviously it's going to make this kind of heavy-ish. So, you know, the actual sheet music as it was would not be kind of strong and robust enough to actually, you know, take the weight of my other piece, if that makes sense. So, yeah, just kind of... Let's go for that. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut this down. I mean, again, obviously in an ideal world, I would probably leave this to dry now. But you know what it's like when you're doing a video. You obviously just want to crack on, don't you? So, right, let's just glue this side. Or, sorry, cut this side down here. And across here. Okay, right. And then let's come up. Oh, that was just lucky. That just happened to be the right way. So, yeah, not often that that happens, is it? Okay, let's just take that down. And I've left this so that I can fold it over just to reinforce that slightly, you know, slightly more again. So we've got a slightly thicker, thicker edge for where we're tucking bits into. In which case I can go slightly up higher. That's it. Or up slightly higher. Oh, my English is uh, failing me today. Right, and then we're going to just go down with our flap like that. So again, I'm going to just take this to the sewing machine and just stitch all around there. And then um, I will come back with all the bits and pieces. So I shall be back. Okay, so I am back from the sewing machine, so I'll just show you what I've done, and I used orange thread, um, well, I used the rest of the brown, so I had a little bit of brown left, and then when that ran out, I switched it with orange, so yeah, we've got kind of orangey brown um, going on, but anyway, I thought it just, you know, went perfectly, I mean, how gorgeous are these pieces, to be honest, they look really super cute, don't they? So let's decorate up um, some of these little bits and pieces, so let's start with this one which I think was the one that we said we were going to put the little cluster on so I just move my bits out the way a bit okay and let's bring in some of the bits from the kit here I mean we could have it like that that's really really nice isn't it yeah I quite like that to be honest with just kind of bits of the um yellow and things poking out so I'm just going to check whether I've got anything I prefer I mean, again, I'm just trying to use bits that I've actually cut out ready. So rather than kind of bore everyone by, oh, that mushroom's really nice. But I was thinking the mushroom would be really good on something else. Oh, it's going to be one of those pieces, isn't it? Where the mushroom actually looks pretty nice on every single thing. Oh, I don't know now. I mean, to be honest, it's not the end of the world because there are other mushrooms. I just was trying to spare you guys, you know, me cutting more bits, to be honest. So, yeah. Right, well, let's get this piece down now because, you know, I'm pretty sure that I like this piece and, you know, want to have this piece on there. So we will just pop that down there like that and we'll just mop that up a bit with some baby wipe, dry baby wipe. Okay, right. Ooh, now do we go for this or do we go for that mushroom on its own? We've also got this butterfly. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Stop it. It's sticking on my hands. Sticking on my fingers. Um, don't know, don't know, don't know. I mean, we have got this one which is smaller, but I think it's probably a bit too small. What do we think? Although, to be honest, actually, it looks quite, quite cute now I've got it there. Oh, perhaps we'll go for the small one. Right, so I'm having to use that grey hot glue, I'm afraid. So excuse the fact it's grey. Hopefully you're not going to see it anywhere, oozing out. 
if you did. It obviously wouldn't be great being grey, but so that's quite nice, isn't it? Now I've got some smaller butterflies because that might just be like massive. They're massive, massive butterflies. So let's just cut this one out. Honestly, I thought I'd so sorry, I just hit the camera. I thought I had fussy cut out such a lot of things that I thought, oh, I won't have to fussy cut anything out. You know, anything else out. But look at me, here I am. No sooner have I got back here to decorate than there I am, fussy cutting more stuff. So, okay. There we go. Right, let's just pop that down here. Oh yeah, the small butterfly, it's just a little bit better, isn't it, to be honest? So, right, let's just do that. Now, again, I don't know quite whether to ink this. And if I do, I don't know whether to use something else, a different colour, to be a bit exciting. Um, mm, can't decide. So I might leave the inking and then we'll come back to, you know, to ink or not to ink a bit later. So, yeah, let's just crack on with the, the other bits that we want to make. And then probably won't actually ink up until I come to actually stick them into the journal and then kind of decide from there because then hopefully we'll have a clearer kind of idea as to, you know, whether we should ink or not ink. So, right, I've got that or I have got this. I could use those foxes, you know, that I said that I've added to the kit now in the... Um, are they called a hurricane? A hurricane? hurricane vase or I mean they're not a hurricane lamp are they so are they called a hurricane vase I don't know I can't seem to think what these are actually called I mean I've heard heard them being called something and literally got a complete blank I can't remember for the life of me what these are called anyway these little jar things I keep calling them a vase and I mean of course they're not a vase are they so but I just can't think what they actually are called Okay. Oh, that's quite nice on there, isn't it? Just thought it might be nice to have something instead of the, um, what do you call it? You know, the toad store, the toad store. So yeah, I'm thinking this might be nice. I love using these banners when they're cut in half. So definitely, yeah, definitely cut one of those in half and have one of those somewhere. I'm thinking we could have a vintage postage stamp poking out. Again, let's just see what colors I've got. Oh, I mean, this might just be like really bright on here. Ooh, it is a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, even though I thought that I'd created such a bright kit, but mm, that's just a bit too bright. But that one's quite nice, actually. Oh, and do you know what? They're, um, you know, work in the fields. So it feels a bit harvesty to me. So I think that's quite nice. Yeah, let's go for that on there, I think. And then do we want some lace or something on this? Because I'm thinking we've not really done much in the way of lace. Or some fabric. So let's just tear this fabric down. Okay, let's just tear that down. Oh my goodness, not quite like that. <laughs> okay, try not to go quite so thin because it obviously was too thin to even cut at all. I'm thinking, you know, could we just staple a little bit of fabric? Oh, maybe at the top, actually. Yeah, I was thinking at the bottom, but I think it looks better at the top. So let's do that first. So let me grab my Tim Holtz stapler. Okie dokie. It's just in my bag from when I've been to my mum's recently. 
Uh, I might, yeah, I might round the corners. Do I want to round the corners? I'm just thinking. Well, actually now I'm just thinking, where's my corner rounder? Originally I was thinking, have I got room to round the corners before my stitching? But yeah, now I'm thinking, oh, where's my corner rounder? Oh, there it is. I mean, I pretty much do always kind of put it away, to be honest, but it's always within grabbing distance. But sometimes it's, you know, more buried than others, let's just say. Oh, gosh, come on. Oh, what's going on now? I can't put the lid back on. Okay, right. Okay, that one. That one. Right, let's hope this isn't going to be in the way of the stitching. Could be on this one. Oh, not too bad. I thought, oh, I've stitched very close to the edge there. Right, okay, we were stapling on some fabric, weren't we? So let's just do that. Okay, and a bit more. Okay. Oh, come on. And then I'm just going to leave that bit on the side there. I think that looks quite pretty, quite cute. And we're going to have that banner. How pretty does that banner look? Love how that looks. Do love a banner, I must say. That's very cute, isn't it? Very, very cute. Okay. And then what about one of the numbers? So, yeah, let's just pull in a couple of these. Well, I mean, not really a couple. We don't need a couple of them, but let's just pull in a number. I think in this one. Okay. probably should have it kind of more that way so as we can actually see those people you know work in the fields I was going to say men in the fields but you know there might be women no they do look like men to be honest but you know we can't just make assumptions can we because anyone can work the fields these days well I mean anyone presumably could always work the fields to be honest Oh dear, showing my age now. Showing my age with my assumptions there. Okay, pop my vintage postage stamp like that. And then, yeah, going to have the um, foxy loxy just to the side here, so. Okay, just smearing that glue in a bit. Okay. Oh, how cute does that look? Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, two more bits to go with the mixing of the vintage and the kit. So, let's put that to one side. What have I done with that other one? That's up there. Right, okay, so, oh no, three more to go, sorry, three. Made more than I realised. Uh, which way up was this? I think it was that way. Probably doesn't really matter, but yeah, pro probably should try and get it the right way. Okay, so we're going to have this here. Now I'm thinking I can just hot glue this one down. Um, yeah, I think we'll just hot glue. Now, I'd bought my, um, you know, wax seals along, and I think I was planning on using them for this particular one, wasn't I? So let's have a look and see. Oh, I'm thinking they're all quite pastel-y pastel colours, except for the red, which I didn't especially want the red. It's got to be said. The yellow's a little bit on the pale side, but I guess I could mix it with the red. 
Yeah. Well, that's such a shame. I was kind of thinking something really vibrant, but I don't know whether I bought pastel colours or whether, you know, whether they are just pastel colours. I'm not sure. But now, do we want to have like a wax seal? Yeah, right. Let's glue this one down. So, and again, I'm just going to use my hot glue for this. Just, you know, super quick and easy. Just pop that down there. Obviously, it's overhanging the belly band slightly, but that looks very cute. Quite like that overhanging slightly. Okay, right. Now, do we want some ribbon with our with our wax seal? I've also got. Oh, do you know what I have got? I've got some of this stuff. I think this is called raffia. Raffia. Uh, now, I don't really use this ever, as you can tell. I've had it for a long time. And yeah, it does not really get to see the light of day. But what I'm wondering is if we could do like a bow and then have the wax seal seal in the bow. Hmm. Right, let's try and glue that together. Again, just going to use the hot glue so it's really quick quick and easy. Let's just spread our... Oh gosh, not like that. That's just awful. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh. Do you just sometimes do things and think, oh, why have I even done that? That just looks terrible now. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Because what I'm wondering is if we could use this raffia stuff just because it looks quite autumnal, doesn't it? I don't think my bow looks particularly great, it's got to be said. Not really, not really working as a bow, is it? Do we think that my bits are too long here? Should we try shorter? Shorter bits. Oh my goodness, that looks even more ridiculous, doesn't it? Lucky I've got lots of this, isn't it? I can afford to just play around with this. Honestly, some of you guys have probably got some of this stuff and you probably make amazing things out of this. But yeah, I've, um, I've never managed to make anything amazing or in fact, never really managed to make anything out of it, to be honest. Let's just tie that bow and see if, you know, see if it's the bow that I've done that's the issue. Oh gosh. Through there, right. Okay. Ah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Now, do we want those great big long, long ends? They're a bit too, too long, aren't they? Yeah, they are very long. Yeah, they're, they're huge. I'm, I'm not really thinking I'm going to leave them like that, but equally, I don't know really what sort of length I do want them. So maybe like that. Oh, maybe, maybe like that. So yeah, definitely not that one. Just looks rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Oh, that's quite cute there, isn't it? So what I'm thinking is, pop that down. Can I do my wax seal on top of this? I don't know how that's going to work. And to be honest, I don't know really whether the wax seal is going to actually be big enough, if you see what I mean, uh, small enough to not just, you know, cover my bow in its entirety. Well, I mean, it's obviously, it's not going to cover the entire bow, but you know what I mean. Will it just look quite neat? Let me just check with a couple of my bow, uh, you know, wax seals that I've already made. Oops, come on. Just want to see roughly what size we're looking at. Okay, not too, too bad. Right, so shall we just go for this? Now, the other thing is, this is quite lumpy. So I'm just really hoping that 
the wax seal is going to squish down or you know be flat enough so let's just press that like that okay right let's put this on so i'm going to glue this down oops i forgot that i was using that gray for a minute i thought oh what's going on with my glue that's it i'm using gray right and then I'm going to just heat up my wax. So I did kind of think ahead. I've whoops, bought everything that I need along with me. So, yeah, got my, got my little wax seal kit. Okay, right, let's do this. Let's do this, everyone. There's one. What have I done with the other one? Oh, it's there. And then let's have the yellow one. I don't know what that yellow is going to look like, to be honest. I might kind of regret that and wish that I just had, you know, stuck with all red, to be honest. But right, while that's melting, the other thing that I've just dragged in is I've got some of these brads in the bright colours. And actually, I keep meaning to patina these so that I've got some other you know, other things to use, if you see what I mean. Or, you know, more usable, usable things. But yeah, I still haven't done. So um, I thought that I would just bring these in and see whether we could use any because I thought they're quite nice colours, some of these. And they might, might just go quite nicely with what we're doing. So, yeah, let's pull these. Oops, not that one. Right, okay. I've also got some leaves in there, actually. don't know whether you noticed that, but these leaf ones, clearly they, you know, they don't feel to me like they would go with this at all. But again, maybe if they were patinaed, they possibly would. So, yeah, another reason there for, um, you know, getting on with the patina stuff. But anyway, I digress. I just really pulled them out because I thought, oh, I wonder if we could... I don't know, have them in the corner or something like that, just because I thought, well, they're quite pretty, aren't they? And, um, you know, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I do struggle to use the coloured brads. So I just thought, well, actually, maybe this is something I could potentially use them on. Or we could have them just come coming down here, more like sort of buttons almost. Let's just put them there like that. One, two, three... And then we could have a green one in the middle. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. It was just the automatic response was to put them in the middle. Uh, not the middle, sorry. The automatic response was not to put them in the middle, but to actually put them in the corners. But yeah, I then kind of just thought, oh, let's try them, you know, running down. I hope they don't look like clown's buttons. And you see, now that I've said that, that's all that I'm going to pitch them as is clown's buttons. Oh, I hope that you guys don't now just pitch them as that as well. So, yeah. Oh, you should never say what you picture things as, should you? Because, of course, once you say that, that's all that people can actually imagine. So, yeah, shouldn't really kind of ever say it, should you? Right, okay. So, my wax has kind of melted. I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir. Like that. Okay, right, let's see. Oh, I don't think this is going to be quite right anyway. It's not the quite quite the right red, is it? But never mind. Let's just go for it anyway. Right. Blow my candle out. Pop my, um, you know, waxy spoon to one side. I should really wipe it out while it's kind of wet. But yeah, I haven't really got any, any thick enough layers of tissue. And obviously you could really burn your fingers. Ah, oh, that's okay. I managed to get the worst of it out with some tissue that I did have. So just because obviously if you leave it in, then when you come to use it next time, that will remelt and you might then contaminate your colour, which obviously that, you know, if I've not used red at all, I might not want red on there. Right. Okay. And then let's go back to those brads. So we've got one. Then I'm going to come down here, I think, to put the next orange one. 
and then hopefully put that green one sort of roughly in the middle of the two. So yeah, let's just go for here. Right, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that it's roughly in the middle. Okay, not too bad. Not too, too bad. And just squish that down. Oh, they look cute, don't they? Okay, well, my wax seal, I have to say, it's not the best. Not the best at all, but no, I don't mind it. I mean, it's all just adding something, kind of, you know, a bit extra, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't really mind it, to be honest. But, yeah, it definitely didn't go brilliant. Because as soon as I poured it on, it's obviously poured off, you know, because of the raised, um, you know, knot. So, yeah, it wasn't kind of too happy, obviously, being poured on over the top of that knot. But, yeah, it's worked okay. I don't mind it. So, let me just get rid of that stuff out the way. So, that's another piece done. Okay, right, next one. We have got this pocket, which gorgeous or what. Right, let's see what we might want here. So I've got some of these tiny little frame type pieces, which I thought would look quite nice on here. And weirdly, I'm sure I have cut these out so far already. So Lord only knows what I've done with those. They're obviously buried in the pile. And, you know, I'll finish the journal and then keep coming across all of these autumn-themed things, like, for days and days and days. Or weeks, let's face it. Not days, but weeks, weeks, weeks. Right, we have got that. Oh, look, there they are. I knew I had cut them out. Just couldn't really think what I'd done with them. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yep quite liking how that looks now I've got that little tiny bit of pink banner left that we could have up there or we could have on the patterned piece I think it's nicer up here but then I think I need the butterfly maybe over there just to kind of balance it out so yeah, let's put this down. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Whoops. And this little framed piece. Okay. And then the cute butterfly. Again, just using that grey, um, you know, what do you call it, hot glue. I mean, not, not ideal, but it's fine. Nobody really is seeing it too much. Now, I have got another one of those little brads, which I just wondered whether we might want to have anywhere. Quite like it in that corner, weirdly enough. Yeah, quite like it there. Let's just do that. It was just one that I, you know, I'd got it out when I thought I was having them on the four corners. So it's just, you know, still floating on my desk. And I thought, mm, looks quite cute on here, actually. So, yeah, I've actually used a couple of coloured brads. That is not often that that happens, is it? Okay. Yeah, love how that looks. Now... I don't know whether to put anything on the bottom. I don't really think the bottom particularly needs anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't really need anything. I mean, I'm aware that we have not really used any lace, which that's not really like me, is it, to have not used lace, but... Um, hmm. Let's just have a look. For some reason, I quite like that with the touch of green. Not saying it really needs it, but something quite nice about it, isn't there? You know, the whole more is more. So, yeah, let's put the green on there now. Okay. And, yep, final thing. What do we want? What do we want? 
um, just thinking some fabric maybe. Okay, let's have a look. Right, might totally change my mind here because this is, yeah, even as I'm pulling it in, I'm kind of thinking, no, no, not that. But you never know. No, I don't like it, to be honest. Not loving that fabric there. Don't think it looks quite right at all. No, no, no. Right, okay. So we'll scrap that and won't bother with the fabric. Right, so the very last one that we need to decorate up is this gorgeous envelope here. So let's take a couple of the pretty bits from the, you know, the fussy cut type pieces. Oops, that's upside down. Maybe like that. Um, or perhaps, yeah, perhaps that's like overkill to be honest. Oh, got this um, piece which we could, oh, it's a bit big for the address. That's a shame, isn't it? Ooh. Right, got them in the full size. So what I'm thinking is cut this one down. I'm wondering if I cut that sort of address part off, whether that would be suitable as an address bit for the for the envelope. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm just going to take it down smaller because it's a little bit too big. I mean, I don't necessarily think it looked too big on there. It's just that it's covering up all that gorgeous sheet music, which I really like the sheet music showing. So, yeah, just wanted to kind of make it slightly smaller. Maybe even smaller still, to be honest. Yeah, let's just cut that down there. Okay, and then should we rough this up? Right, again, I still haven't decided how I'm going to ink all of these bits yet. Um, you know, whether I'm going to add maybe some green ink or something like that, which I'm still thinking, I, you know, I might possibly do. But I'm going to go in just with the um, walnut stain just around the edge of here because obviously, to, you know, to be honest, this doesn't feel like it's going to be, you know, um, an emphasised inked piece, if that makes sense. So, because this is just going to go on the envelope, so that brown is just really tying in the brown of the actual piece itself. So, disguising the white kind of core of the paper, really. Okay. So, let's pop that there. Love how that looks. Right. We could even have it as a pocket. So, pop that like that. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Like that. Okay. Squish that glue that season out. Okay. Right. There we go. And now, do we want to have anything cute on there? Thinking like, I don't know, toadstool or anything like that. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Love how that looks. That is just awesome. Okay. Yeah. Love, love, love how that looks. Okay. Right. Yeah. Super, super, super pretty. Very scrumptious. Okay, so that's that piece. Now, for the other side of the envelope, let's have a look and decide what to put there because I'm still kind of thinking, oh, what do we want on the other side? Don't know whether to have, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'd kind of put this there and then we toyed, or I toyed with that that other piece, which, where's that gone? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we could have it like that. I mean, that might be a bit too much. The other thing is, we might want to have some fabric 
across the flap here. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I love how that looks, to be honest. So let's do that. So let's just pop some glue down here. Okie dokie. Okay, and we'll just trim that off here at that edge. Okay. Let's just squish that down. Oops. That fabric's really curling over, which is really, really annoying. It's, it's lay much flatter. Okay, let's just pop a line along here. Oh, come on. Okay. Oops, just a little bit more here. Right, okay. All glued, except for this little corner here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, love how that looks. And then, yeah, we're going to be bold and we're going to go for both bits. So I'm thinking this little kind of Polaroidy type thing, you like sideways, you know, a bit slanty. Don't very often do that in junk journals. I used to do it all the time in card making and scrapbooking, but yeah, I don't seem to do it so much now. Don't know why, but just, yeah, just don't. And then this gorgeous little fox as our closure, thinking like that. Uh, do we want him on anything like lace or anything? I mean, I don't think we've really added any lace to this so far, have we? I don't think we have, which, I mean, that's very unlike me, as you know. So I'm thinking, my gosh. My next project will be like a massive like lace overdose, won't it? Because I will be then, you know, feeling like, oh my goodness, I've had no lace for a while. Right, let's just glue this onto this soft neck. So, like that. that up right and let's cut around there don't want like masses but just a little bit to you know just add some interest so and this is just um an old skirt of my daughter's so yeah but it just works brilliantly for things like this you know, um, I don't know what they call this. Is it tool, tool, tool skirt? Yeah, so I'm going to just have that there. So, and I like to always hold them where they're going to go like that. Lift it up because then you know exactly where you've got to put the glue to. Whereas otherwise it's a little bit of a guessing game. And, you know, quite often then I end up sticking the piece down, you know, like the envelope flap. Okay, so that's that one. Let's just pop that in there. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? I love it. And do you know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's pull in these brads again. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm on a roll with using these brads today. Oh, uh, well, I say that. I haven't tried them here. They might look <laughs> quite a rubbish and then I won't be using them at all. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking if they go if that's the big question just thinking maybe have like a couple there a couple or three oh where's some more of those little pale green ones there's one come on come on come on oh no you know like when the more you touch it the more it moves that's what's going on here the more i'm touching it the more it's moving you know, moving away from me. They're quite nice, aren't they? 
yeah really 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 pretty okay oh and do you know what oh no i've glued this down because i was just thinking oh i've got these teeny little flower brads here which i've had for years and i thought oh i could just put some of those in the centers of those flowers but yeah i mean obviously i've now already stuck those flowers down so should have really kind of thought of doing that before but I'm just going to keep them out for a second because I'm wondering whether I could just cut the stems off and just glue them down, to be honest. There's no reason why, or, you know, I don't think there's any reason why that wouldn't work. So, yeah, I might just do that. So, you know, something to do if you by accident have glued your piece down and you can't then get to it, i.e. like this, it's obviously, you know, it's on the back of or it's on the inside of an envelope, so I can't now get to that, then I guess, you know, that's an option, is you can then just go, you know, cut the legs off. Okay, right. Yeah, that's very cute. So let's just squash those bits down. Like that. Come they are looking cute, aren't they? Right, let's have a look. So I've got some of these little metal -y cutter things. So, oh my goodness, put my glasses on for this because, wow, these are like minuscule to me. They're minuscule to me. Oh, right. Okay. So going in as close as I can get. Take that off. And then take this one off. I'm actually thinking probably you could just, um, you know, like bend these back and forth and they would probably come off actually cleaner, cleaner than taking them off with this jewellery cutter gizmo. Yeah, so I might try that on the next one because this has just got those little foldy bits now. Well, it's okay. Right, let's just see how it looks before I muck about with any more. Oh, I think that's quite cute. Right, do we want another one or not is the question. Got the yellow one. Hmm. Right, let's just... I could probably even hold these, to be honest, and um, bend them back and forth. You know, because they're only quite thin metal, aren't they? Oh. She says, as it's now sound <laughs> as being like the most resistant piece ever. Uh, you know, I mean, of course, if I was wanting those legs to stay on, then of course they would be, you know, dropping off, wouldn't they? But because I'm actually trying to take them off, they are, of course, not wanting to come off. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on, come on. That one, and then this one here. Oh, come on. Oh, dear. Right. Let's just do that. Okay, squish this down, because, wow, that's just not looking very neat at all. Oh, come on. I could probably get it off with my scissors, to be honest, better. So sorry about this. I'm sure that lots of you do things like this all the time and are really good. I'm just, um, you know, quite clumsy and struggle when things are tiny like this. I mean, these are, like, very tiny for me to be touching and handling. So, right. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Yeah, let's just take this yellow one. So, to be honest, I'm just going to go in with my scissors, I think. They come off pretty well just with the scissors. That one. And that one. Okay, let me just now squish those down so it's a nice flat piece to glue. Oh, dear. Get rid of that piece there. Right, okay. 
Right, let's just clean up these little stalky type bits and then let's just glue those on because, uh, yeah, you're probably all losing the will to live, to be honest. Oh, I get where you're coming from. Oh, no! <laughs> After all that, I've now dropped it. Oh, can you believe it? Right, okay, I'm going to obviously come back to that. So, um, yeah, let me just glue this one. Just going to glue it on there. Again, I'm just using my hot glue because it's just nice and quick. And, of course, I have already taken so long. <laughs> so long with all this mucking about. Ah, and then I will obviously rummage for that other one after the video. So, yeah, I will spare you, you know, watching me do that again with another one. So, right, there we go. Let's just pull that bit of wax out. Okay. Not wax, sorry, hot glue. Just because I'm using that grey, so it's obviously showing slightly. Oh, I wish my glue sticks would arrive. Right, okay, let me just see if I can see that green one anywhere, you know, instantly. And then I can obviously do that. No, of course I can't, because that would be far too easy, wouldn't it? No, it's probably just... Oh, there it was. There it was. It was still on my lap. Okay, right, let's just very quickly... Oops, glue the last one down. So here we go. Last one. La Whoa! Flicked it again. Something going on with this one. It's like it's alive. Okay, right. Oh my goodness me. Okay, there we go. Right, let's have a look and see the pieces that we've finally done in this video oh I do apologize it feels like it's been a massively long video so and obviously where I've stopped it now um you know I have no idea how long it's been running so I do apologize if it's turned out super 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 long so right we have done these five bits here so this was mixing vintage with kit um to get these gorgeous looking pieces so I hope that you really like them I mean, I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous and um, yeah, really, really love how they're looking so far. So looking forward to popping them into my journal. Um, but obviously I, you know, I do need to do a few more bits before that stage. So I will probably come back to do some more bits on the cover and maybe the insides of the covers. Um, but aside from that, yeah, I hope that you're enjoying it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.